what's up youtube welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing a story time so today's story time as y'all can tell by the title is gonna be about my first time so but before we jump into this video i'm gonna need y'all to like comment and subscribe and share okay all right so y'all like I, I don't even know where to start. I was 15 years old whenever I lost my virginity. And so, like, I was, like, I just, like, passed the ninth grade. And I lost my virginity that summer going into the 10th grade. So, I actually lost my virginity to, like, an ex-best friend, boyfriend. Hold up. Wait a minute. I know, I know that's so bad, y'all. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. But at the time, like, like I was young, like I was like stupid ass young. Like I didn't really know the meaning to like a true like friendship. Like I, I really didn't like. And I, I don't, I don't even remember if I apologized to her though. I probably did. I don't remember, but. Y'all, that was so long ago. That was more than 10 years ago on some shit. Like, <sighs> it ain't no beef. Like, we was fucking young. Like, we was kids. So, like, anybody to this day, if y'all beefing over something, if y'all is beefing over something that happened in high school, like, y'all childish. Like, that's all I gotta say. Y'all childish. Like, let that shit go. At the time when it happened, like, me and him was, like, texting a lot. But, like, we, we was texting. We had each other number on some shit, like, because, you know, at the time, you know, he was talking to my best friend, but then they had broke up. So, they broke up, but, like, me and him was, like, cool. Like, he was a real cool dude at the time. So, we gonna call him... Uh, him Barry. <laughs> we just gonna call him Barry. All right, so... Me and Barry was, like, cool or some shit. Like, you know, like, we from the same hood. We rode the same bus. We took a lot of classes together. So, like, we was cool. So, we had each other number or whatnot. But, like, it got to the point where, like, we just started flirting and stuff. Like, a lot. And at first, I was like, man, I shouldn't do this because you used to date my best friend, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, he was on some shit, like... Like, he was trying to sugarcoat the shit, but I already knew what it was. Because, like, I was there. I was there doing y'all relationship. Like, y'all was cute. That was, re that was real cute. But, I mean, then I started thinking about it. I was like, well, she did... She was messing with one of my exes. So, it wasn't, like, on no get-back shit. Like, for real. It wasn't... It, re it really wasn't on no get-back shit. It was just like, well, she did it, so I guess I can do it. Like, I guess it's cool or whatever. Like I said, I didn't really know the me the real meaning to like a true friendship. Like it happened. So, all right, start texting, start flirting, or whatever. So then me and him just started messing around. Like when I mean messing around, like he came to see me, I gave him hugs, he felt on my booty, you know, stuff like that. And we was talking on the phone like every night. So, like when we were talking on the phone, you know, of course sex would come up. Nah, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, like, everybody in high school was fucking, like, everybody was fucking, like, they had girls that was my age that was pregnant already, and I'm like, man, like, everybody fucking, like, I'm ready to break my virginity, like, I was, I was, like, I was peer pressure to my surrounding areas, really, because, like, I wanted to have sex, but I didn't want to have sex, but I wanted to have sex because everybody else was having sex, not because I really, truly wanted to have sex, like, we say we gonna you know whenever y'all young y'all say oh i'm gonna do this to you i'm gonna do this to you and this and this and that and like we just talking like crazy to each other like you know saying what we gonna do to each other and i'm like man i'm not scared you know i'm not scared or whatever but i was scared i ain't gonna lie i really was scared because i at first i was like man i don't want to do this but everybody else fucking so i want to fuck too like <laughs> so it got to a point where, like, I started sneaking him in, like, my house, like, and whenever we would sneak in, like, we would just watch TV, like, we would just cuddle, we would just kiss, 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 kiss. 
all right till one time like when he finally came like one the last time when he came because like i'm telling y'all this was the first and last time we ever had sex like we never had sex after that again i'm gonna tell y'all why but so the last time whenever he snuck into my house y'all like i was so nervous because i like we talked about we talked about it, it was like all right we're gonna do it this night or whatever and keep in mind he was my first kiss too like i'm telling y'all like i was i was a good girl like i was a good girl like i wasn't doing nothing like i was making good grades like i was staying in the house and i stayed in the hood but like on some other shit like i was good like you know i didn't even have my first kiss yet like and most people are kissing in elementary and i didn't even get my first kiss in elementary like he was my first kiss he was my first my first so came over came over snuck him through the window or whatever so like we kissing you know and then like he didn't even ask me i don't even remember if he asked me i'm pretty sure he didn't but like he didn't even ask me like y'all if i'm really really sure i want to do this or anything like that i think we just did it so like whenever it happened like it was so weird like it was so weird because i was like do I really want to do this? Like, I think I'm just doing this just because, like... And I started second-guessing myself, but I just let it happen. Started kissing, started touching on me, you know. Started getting a little hot or whatever. And... He tried to put it in. And when I tell y'all, when he tried to put it in, I felt like he was just forcing it in. Like, like I said, it was his first time, too. But, like, I felt like he was forcing it in, like this shit was tight and i'm not gonna say this how small he was and not like that but i'm just giving y'all a demonstration of what was going on so this was him like he was just like trying to push the shit in like he was really trying to push the shit in like he wasn't like you know trying to you know ease his way in wiggle it and nothing like that and then trying to work his way in now he was forcing the shit in and then like when he got in then a few inches later he just started pounding like i'm like bitch like we not in no fucking porn but i just laid there and i don't even remember if i moaned i don't remember if i was like really into it like i just like me just thinking about it now like i just remember like it like in pieces like i really don't remember because it really wasn't all that so we get to doing it, you know, like, he stayed on top the whole time. Then, like, he ended up picking up my legs. Like, I was small. At the time, like, I was, like, a good 90 pounds soaking wet. Like, I was skinny as fuck. Like, I was small. So, like, he laid me back, and he picked up both of my legs. Like, both of my legs up. And, like, he like doing like like he did this before but i know he didn't do this before because i know it's your first time too but i was just i was just there i felt like i was really just there and then like after it was done i was like and he left and then the whole time i'm thinking i'm like is this sex like because if this sex i don't want it like the shit wasn't even all that like it wasn't i don't know if it's because it wasn't with the person that i really wanted it to be my first because the person that i wanted my first time to be with and i actually liked this dude so much and he was fucking like he was fucking fucking we just gonna call him ben so ben like i liked him so much and ben was stupid like me and ben like ben is old like one i think one year older than me are we the same age i'm not sure but like he failed multiple times so whenever i made it to junior high he was still in elementary and whenever i made it to high school i think he still was in elementary i don't even i don't even i think he was still in elementary yeah, he was still in elementary. When I made it to high school, he was still in elementary with my brothers. So I was sending, like, my brother letters. Like, y'all remember them letters to, from, song, title, all that shit. Like, I was sending him letters to, to my brothers or whatever. Like, that's how much I liked him. Like, I liked him so much. And, like, we actually talked about, like, us having sex but that's why I said I don't know how me and Derry had sex. Like, and I don't even know how we even started 
like really kicking it like i said like he was my ex best friend ex man so like yo i was fucked up for that shit but like i just felt no type of way after we had sex like i didn't want to do it again we didn't do it again like and I was, I didn't, I was just like, I don't want to fucking have sex. Like, I didn't have sex after that until like three months later on some shit to somebody else. Because I didn't want to have sex with him. Because after we had sex, like, the next couple days, he went around the fucking neighborhood telling everybody he fucked. Now, y'all already know when y'all young, if somebody say they fuck, Guess what? Everybody want to fuck. Everybody be like, oh, you fucked her. I'm about to see if I can try to fuck her. She going to let me fuck this and this and that. So, like, whenever I heard that, like, I cut all ties with him. I was like, boy, fuck you. Like, why you went around saying that shit? Like, you mad. So, I started saying your shit was whack anyways. Like, that's my first time your shit was whack. Like, and I would never fuck you again. So, he got mad about that. But it was true. Like, I felt like it was whack because I was like... Afterwards, I was like, it wasn't on some, oh my God, I don't want to do this again. Like, this shit feels so good. Like, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't like that at all. Like, it was just like, this is sex. I don't see what the hype is about. But like, he went around the whole neighborhood, the whole uh, uh town. And I'm, my town is like really, really small. So like, once one person know, everybody fucking know. Even my parents know. That's how my fucking parents found out that I was fucking because he told somebody and somebody told somebody and somebody told somebody and then somebody was just happen to talk about the shit while they was playing the game and my daddy was at they house playing the game so that's how my daddy found out and then my mama found out and yo whenever they found out that I was fucking yo I got my ass whipped. I'm in high school. I got my ass whipped every fucking day. And like, <laughs> they found out like after the summer, like towards the beginning of my 10th grade year. Like my 10th grade year was my worst year ever because I literally, I'm not, I swear to you, I got my ass whipped every fucking day. <laughs> like, from the beginning of like school started in August, I think they found out like August, September ish, to my birthday in April. Every day, like no lie, every day, like three times a day. Like when before I went to school, when I got off of school, and before I went to bed. And I had no breaks. Like they didn't even let me slide like like no day. Like the shit was horrible. Like that whole year I was so depressed. I didn't wanna fucking talk to nobody. I didn't wanna like i was just so depressed i wanted so i tried to run away i didn't get i didn't get fall but like it was bad it was so bad y'all like i was so depressed my whole 10th grade year like i couldn't go nowhere i couldn't go to no parties i couldn't go like i couldn't go nowhere like that that was my worst year ever because i wanted to fuck because <laughs> i wanted to fuck bro but like but to this day this dude like We've been, like, on and off kind of conversating, but, like, he will always piss me off. Like, after, like, I didn't graduate high school, because he ended up going to another school or moving somewhere else, like, after high school or whatever, uh, like, he ended up hitting me up, but I was in a relationship. Like, I was in uh, this, the, the relationship I was in, I was in a relationship with this guy for eight years. But, like, every time he hit me up, I'm like, no, like, leave me alone. I'm chilling. And then he was like, oh, y'all, y'all always cutting me off. Like, y'all always, like, acting like I did you something. Like, 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 I'm the bad guy. Nigga, you the one that told the whole world that we fuck. Like, what you bragging for? I don't understand, like, why you was bragging about that shit. Like, why dudes brag about that shit? Like, that's so fucking stupid. I don't understand. I really don't understand why dudes do that shit. But, like, I hated him for that. Like, I hated, 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 hated him for that. So, then after that, he ended up, like, after I didn't got out of that relationship, like, a few years after that, he tried to hit me back up, you know, saying, you know, like, what's up, man? Like, like let's be cool, man. We was cool in high school, man. Let's be cool, blah, blah, blah. So, I was like, all right, fuck it. 
at the time, like, you know, I was I was single, so I went go meet him one time. I went go meet him somewhere. We never did nothing. We were just talking and talking, so we exchanged numbers because we were sexing on Facebook. We exchanged numbers. Then he just started talking about old times. Talking about, man, I don't understand what happened, blah, blah, blah. Um, Like, I really wanted to, uh, to be with you. Now, by this time, dude got, like, three kids. He said, you're supposed to have my, my baby girl, this and this and that. I'm just like... But he's just talking all kind of hot shit like that. He was like, "Man, we I need a re I need a redo. I need a redo because we was young. We was young. Ain't no redo around here, boy. Bye bye." Like he just kept saying for a redo, kept saying for a redo. So then he gonna send me a picture of his shit, and then it was big. I'm not gonna lie, it was big. And then he sent it next to like a shampoo bottle. Tempting, but no. I was like. No, I'm not fucking with you. He was like, well, I'm too big. Like, yeah, yeah, because I'm going to show you. I'm a man. Nah, I'm a man. Nah, this and this and that. And I'm just like, dude, leave me alone. Like, all right, now leave me alone. Because, like, that's the only reason why you keep trying to talk back to me. Too fuck. Like, leave me alone. Leave me alone. So, like, <clears throat> matter of fact, recently, like, maybe two or three weeks ago, uh, he asked me my friend on Facebook. So I accepted him, but then he got to go like all my pictures. Then he put in like the wow emojis just because a nigga didn't glow it up and got a little thick. So like he liking all my pictures and he going to jump in my inbox talking about um it wouldn't hurt. For no, he said something about let's be cool or some shit like that. So I didn't answer him. Like I read it through the, the thing. Like whenever you get a notification, like my notifications, when they come up, I can read the whole message. So, when his came up, I read the message. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not opening that. Just, then he came back. And then he was like, uh, it wouldn't hurt for you to reply. And I'm just like, if this dude don't leave me the fuck alone, like, I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt to follow me. Like, you can watch me. You can look at me. Like, you can, I'm, I'm letting you look at me. Like, what more do you want? Like, what more do you want? So... Then he gonna call me. That's one thing I hate about... I don't know why Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat decide they want to put calls and FaceTime and shit on there. Because, like, people just feel like they can just call you whenever you whenever they want. If you don't have my number, why, like, what you doing that for? That's a reason, that's a reason why you don't have my number. Like, but don't go on facebook and instagram and snapchat trying to call me off for that leave me alone like i'm the type of person like i will speak to you in public but i don't do all that extra friendly shit i'm i'm not like i'm friendly but i'm not friendly like because i know what dudes want like i know what y'all want so like i don't understand like it's it's it just it's just so mind-boggling like for real because it's like it's the same dudes over and over and over. Hard eyes, hard eyes. Let me take care of you. Let me do this. Let me do that. You must not have a man because you never post him. Let me be this. Let me be that. And I'm just like, y'all don't know what the fuck I'm going through. Y'all don't know if I have a man and why I don't post him and if I did post him. Like, like today, I, I ain't going to say today, but like, it's June, what, 10th, 11th? I think it's June 10th. Like... I've been out of a relationship for a whole year now. Like, I've been single for a year. And I've been in that relationship for two and a half years. And, like, I'm finally doing okay. You know, I'm finally on some, like, I'm okay with being single. Like, because me, I like to jump from relationship to relationship. I'm not going to lie. Like, I never recover after I get out of a relationship. I'm always, like... If, I, if I'm out of the relationship in June, by July, August, I'm in another relationship, a serious relationship. Like, I was in an eight-year relationship. I was in an eight-month relationship. I was in a two-and-a-half-year relationship. Like, I take relationships serious. And when I'm in a relationship, I don't talk to nobody. The male friends that I did have, like, I would hit them up and be like, hey, I'm in a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't hit me up. Don't get mad if I'm not hitting you up. I'm just, like, I just want you to respect my situation my relationship and they are all of them was always cool with that so but when i'm single i'm single you know i do whatever i want 
But if I'm focused on somebody and I'm single, that's a different story. So, like, it all depends. But, like, me, like I said, whenever dudes jump in my inbox and they send hard eyes and stuff like that, I really don't respond. I'm not being stuck up. It just, I'm not entertain i don't like to entertain people while i know it's not gonna go nowhere you know what i mean so <clears throat> need some water yeah but dude i don't know if i said this part already because i started talking about some other shit i don't like when i do that and i ain't even been drinking y'all i didn't drink nothing all day today y'all gotta be proud of me because like me i took a i ain't gonna say that because i might go take a shot if i go to sleep I sleep better when I take a shot. But, like, dude end up calling me on fucking FaceTime. And I'm like, bitch, you see I didn't fucking respond to your message earlier. Like, why the fuck is you texting me? Like, why the fuck is you double, triple texting me? And you say I didn't even open it. Why is you calling me? Like, what makes you think I'm going to pick up a phone call if I didn't answer your text? Like, leave me the fuck alone leave me alone leave me alone but i just ignored it and i'm just like but he never bothered me since but like <sighs> long story short anyway i already said the long story my first time was whack as fuck i don't want to re-fuck him again I wish I can do it all over again but it'll be with a whole different person and I really and truly with my mind frame now and if I do everything that I know now and if I should go back in time and redo the whole fucking thing I wouldn't fuck nobody like I would be a virgin to this day like on some shit and I wouldn't date none of the guys that I dated I probably would have the only person that I probably really would have dated was my ex for eight from eight years that I was with for eight years that's it everybody else like I wouldn't date like we would be cool we'd be friends like y'all would never touch me with a 10 foot pole like on some shit like and part my ex of eight years probably would have been the one to break my virginity but y'all keep for those that are watching that are virgins keep that shit as long as possible like because all that is is fuck boys like, you're not about to remember these people. You might remember these people, but they're going to be ir irrelevant 10 years from now. Like, me and this person, fuck, let me say I was 15. So that's 10, 14 years ago. 14 years ago. And where is this person now? With about four or five kids, I think. I don't really don't know what he's doing right now. And I don't care. That's the whole point. Like, these people that we, we fucking when we young thinking we grown, you're not even going to remember these people. Like, you're not even about to just wait. Just wait. Just hold it as long as y'all can. I'm telling y'all, like, just do that. Because it's really not worth the headache. Because, like, now you got bodies after bodies after bodies. Thinking this bar was good or this one was good or, or he really loved me or, you know, just, no. We are human. Like, shit happens. Like, you get lied to. Like, you get lied to. You get, you know, you think you're in love. You know? Like, <laughs> it is what it is. But I do thank y'all for watching this video. It is a little long. Y'all like this hair. It's by Luxurious Hair. It's a 12-inch bob. It actually have the middle part. But I decide I want to push it on this side. I can't do a longer part because y'all know this is 13 by 6. So that's the that's the longest it's going to go. I'm going to leave a link to this hair. And y'all, this hair is supposed to be a straight bob. So why whenever I wash it and I let it air dry, it's curly. Like it's wavy as fuck. But I like it. But that's not the point. You know what I mean? So... I think that's my only con so far about this hair. But I'm going to give y'all a review in two weeks. So far, I love it. Like, it's full. I think it's a 130. But it's full. And it's, a, it's actually a bob. Like, it's cut into a bob. And the hair is long. You see? Like, y'all remember that blonde? That 613 blonde? It was short. And it was all broken up in the front but this is full like 
it's really full but y'all i thank y'all for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to your girl channel i let me know what y'all want me to do what y'all want me to say like some more story time some more like installments because this hell y'all look at it bro like i'm really surprising myself every time i do my hair like i'm getting better and better and i'm loving it like practice makes perfect but y'all like my shirt it's actually a crop top i will stand up but i ain't got no pants on y'all <laughs>